before I show you guys the init block, I want to show you guys that you don't necessarily have to call the secondary constructor. You can also just go by the parameter of the primary constructor, which in this case is just accepting a string for the color. And if we put red and we run that, we can see that the secondary constructor doesn't even get called. There is no printout. Uh, it doesn't even touch this. It just gets that value and that's it the primary constructor just retrieves the value but what if we want to hold on to that value how do we do that we're gonna need class properties for that so to use class properties or to make class properties we just create variables for it so in this case we're gonna have a variable that holds color and we need a place or actually let me just make this a string right and now we just need a place to initialize this data we need to get the values or the data that the person is putting in and find a way to pass that value to the class properties so it says property must be initialized or be abstract in this case we want to initialize it so we're going to use a thing called the init block all right this is where we're going to initialize the class properties and it's just using the init keyword and we open up a body using the curly braces and then now we can pass in data to the class properties that we have above or class property because we're just using one right now and within this init block we can run any code we can print we can you know store values we can make it out the variable but for this case I just want to take the value that the user is passing in and I want to pass it to the to the class property so the first thing we're gonna need is this because the fact that I made this um, property called color it could probably be confusing for you know people that's gonna view my code so I'm gonna use this the this keyword to signify that I'm taking the property of this class uh, which in this case is gonna be color and I'm gonna make it equal to color and it, you guys can see the swiggy lines go away or the red one goes away um, but yeah I'm gonna take this property of the class called color and I'm gonna make it equal to color which is gonna be the color that the user passes in through the constructor and there's an order to this thing right so the order is the primary constructor is called then the init block is called and then the secondary constructor is called last so I like to think of the init block as the body for the primary constructor because as you guys can see the constructor has its own body right but the primary constructor doesn't have its own body we have to use the init block to initialize the data so or to run some code if we wanted to so that's what the init block is good for you can run some code or you can initialize the data if needed so just to show you guys that the init block is actually receiving the value that we're expecting from the user we'll just use the print and len in the init block and this is ran after the primary constructor like i said so we're just going to pass in this dot color and we're going to run this And we should expect to see red all right cool stuff so now we're not just restricted to just using one init block we can use multiple init blocks so if I just copy and I paste this right under and I'm gonna add in another class property so I'm gonna call this one rooms and I'm gonna make that into an int and we're good to go it's gonna have the same problem. It's gonna say that this property must be initialized. So I'm gonna just use this dot rooms. And I'm gonna make that equal to rooms. And I have to add that to the primary constructor. And I'm gonna print that out as this dot rooms. And let me just add this to the primary constructor. So then it's gonna be rooms. Int. So now you guys can see that the parameters change in the primary constructor. So I have to add this, I have to pass it to the primary constructor in the secondary constructor. So we're going to take that rooms and pass it to the primary constructor. And now it's letting you know that you got to choose between using two parameters or using three parameters. I still want to use the primary constructor. So I'm going to use the two parameters. So I'm just going to pass in two as the number of rooms that I want. And if I run this. I should see red and I should see two which is exactly what I see and which one runs first just is, is based on what order you actually put the nit block in so it's gonna run the color first and then it's gonna run the rooms 
after but if I if I just take this and put it right above this color init block and I paste it there and I run this boom two and red so this shows you know how powerful the init block can be uh, and if you want to keep things short maybe you want to keep it you know in a small context maybe you'll use the, uh, multiple init blocks but you know it's 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 possible if you need to